Here's our host, Jerry Springer. My guests today are coming out of their shells. They're here to reveal their naughty secrets to unsuspected loved ones. Please meet Damien. He said that he's done taking care of his girlfriend's 10 children. Damien, what is, what is going on? Well, I've been with this girl for two years, helping her take care of her kids. She's got 10 of them. None of them are mine. Uh, she don't show me no type of respect. She humiliate me in front of family and friends. What attracted you to her? Were you looking for a litter? I've been, been knowing her for a while. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I'm just teasing you. No, really, what, uh, what, did you love her at first, or? Yeah, I, I did love her. I've been knowing her for like seven years. You know, I've been knowing her for a while, you know, so we kind of grew on each other. And, and now what's going on? Well, uh, somehow or another, I, I'm sleeping with her a cousin. Somehow or another, I, I, <laughs> I, how, how did it happen the first time? Well, I mean, like I said, my girl, she, she, she disrespect me, humiliate me in front of friends, and I went to her cousin for some type of, you know, compassion and, you know, sympathy, and I made a move on her. Could you recreate that move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I probably could. Yeah, no, okay. So you, <laughs> so you made a move on her, and she was more than willing to... To be with you now have you been with her since i mean are you still sleeping with her yes i am oh so this relationship with her six, for the past six months we've been sleeping with i her. see and your girlfriend has no idea this is going on not at all where do you live do you live with the girlfriend or with a cousin i live with my girlfriend with your girlfriend so you just sneak out at night or you go she, she, she's never at home oh. she, she, she's never there she take the money and run i give her my paychecks and you know, well, yeah. she take the money and run, don't give me a dime. I'm, I'm at home with the kids, you know. Yeah. She, she, you know, only time she want to come home is after she done got drunk and, you know, want to pass out. Sounds like a great relationship, Jeezel. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now, so, you, so you've got your girlfriend. She doesn't pay any attention to you. She takes your money. She leaves you alone taking care of the kids. Well, why has it taken you so, so long just to say, hey, this is not what I want to do. Because I was in love with her. I do mean... You, do you still have feelings for her? Yeah, I, I care for her. But the love is gone. The love is gone. So you're here to what? Tell her it's over? I'm here to tell her that it's over and I fell in love with her cousin. With her cousin? Oh. oh. Uh, does her cousin have any kids? She has two. Two. So it must seem like a vacation to you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, well, I tell you what, you want to bring out the, uh, let's, okay, we're going to bring out your girlfriend. You're going to tell your girlfriend this now. Here she is. She's been out of this side the studio, so she's not sure exactly what she's going to be told. Here is Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, welcome to the show. You guys have been together for two years, he was saying, right? Yes. Yeah. And you have ten children? Yes. Wow. Um, and do you love him? Yes, I love him. Great. What do you want to say to her? Well, Tanya, I brought you here today to tell you that uh, things haven't been too good with us. You know, um, I give you my paychecks. You take the money and run and go do whatever you want to do. You want to come home, you know, after you done got drunk or whatever. And, um, I'm here to tell you that I've been sleeping with your cousin. After two years, I done took your homeless ass in and you gonna play me with my cousin? 
Did my kids love you? Love not. It's not there no more. It ain't there? Mm-mm. You sleeping with my cousin? Yeah. So how long this been going on? For six months. You a dirty ass bitch, you know that? <laughs> so do you be sleeping with her in my bed when I'm not there, when I'm at work? <laughs> Joined us, Damien comes on the show to tell Tanya he's been they've been together for two years. He helps take care of the, of her ten children. He claims she's never around. She's taking his money and just going out. He's upsets us for the last six months. He's been sleeping with Tanya's cousin. Tell the dumbass to give me the money. Tanya, what, what, <laughs> what do you want to say to Damien? I want to know why you do me like that. And you know my ten kids love you and love you. My two year old, you know. I just want to know why you do me like that. I'm ready to move on. I'm, I'm trying to find happiness with somebody else. You ain't going else. nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I took your homeless ass in when didn't nobody want you. It's not working Man, no more, you... Tanya. No, it's working. You leaving with me. But is it true that you kind of leave him at home and then just go out on yeah. your own? Well, of course he's, I mean, he's not going to want to be with you then if you're never around. He's not going nowhere. I was like that when he um, got with me. I'm going to be like that. Until it, he ain't going nowhere. Just put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing do it for two years. I'm going to keep on continue doing it. Yeah, but why do you think he wants to stay around? My kids love him. You know what I'm saying? I took him in when didn't nobody want him. I see. Well, let's meet your cousin. Here's Shay. <laughs> What do you want to say to Shay? Shay, why you do me like that? I, tr I trusted you around him, believe you at my house with him, took you in when you didn't have nowhere to go out of different foster homes, jumping from foster home to foster home, and you gonna play me out like that? Because, Tanya, you don't deserve him. I want a good man. You don't deserve oh, him. Why don't deserve him? Because you don't deserve him. You always leave him you. with your you kids. You always leave him with your kids. You take and his money and go me. spend his money and just leave him with yep, your I kids. Sure you don't deserve him. I don't deserve him? No, you don't. You don't deserve it. Right.
with you. So who you want to be with? I'm going to be with you. Tell me. I'm leaving with you today. You is? Yeah. Tell her. I'm leaving with her. You going with me, bitch. So you're saying you're, you're going to be you're going to be with Shay? Do you, you know what? You, you can have Shay because y'all both don't got nothing. Okay, whatever. Y'all have nothing. Whatever. I got ten kids and still got it going on. You ain't gonna be nothing without me. Who you gonna have to help? You? Yeah. Who, who you gonna have to help you now? Since I'm about to you be gone. You still gonna help me? Okay. Still gonna get your paycheck every week. Okay. Uh, I bet you, you don't. Bet I you get, don't. I just got. It. Now where are you gonna live? Because you were living with her. Are you gonna? Move? He gonna come and live with me. Move me where? Okay. He can go stay at the trailer park. I'm cool. Meet some of our other guests, I guess. <laughs> Okay, Got so me now, another woman. So you two are now going to live together. Yes. You you have no feelings for her anymore, is what you're saying? I, I still care me. for her. He loved me. You still he care loved for me. Love is gone. He loved me. We'll be back. that falling in love is like gambling. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Please meet Melissa. She's here to find out the truth from the only man she's ever loved. Melissa, what is going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with my boyfriend for about two, two and a half years. Yeah. Um, we've been friends since diapers. I mean, I love him with all my heart, and I think he's um, screwing around on me. Oh, what makes you think that he's cheating on you? Oh, I don't know. Every time he walks in the door, I have to smell his um, <laughs> sale numbers in his pocket. Um, what do you mean you have to? Because every time he walks out the door, he reeks of sex and perfume every time oh, he walks in the door. It takes you four hours to get a pack of cigarettes all day at yeah. the food store for a case of soda. Yeah, I don't think on. so. No. Mm. And um, when he was locked up, I would go to visit him an hour a week. And every time I would visit him, he would have no more time left because all these other whores are going to visit my man when I'm trying to put money on his books to take care of him so he could eat for the week. And he's going to have another whore visit what, him and lie to my face. How long have you been with him? Um, on and off for about two, two and a half years. Well, why do you stay with him if you think that he's always around other women? Because I love him. Because you do love him. Did he treat you well? He did at one time. We at had a time. really good relationship. We used to laugh, go out, have fun, When party. did it start going bad? Um, probably when um, he got locked up because I, then I lost my apartment. <laughs> then after yeah. I lost... After I lost my apartment, then I lost my car and just all oh. started falling downhill yeah. from there. But you want him back? I'm with Is him he, now. You're with him now? He's living yes. with you? Okay. No, he's not living with me, but we're together and we're trying to make things work. And So you want to confront him here today yeah. and say, hey, what's going on? And Okay. Well, let's bring him out. Here is your boyfriend, Adam. Melissa, look, we've been together for two and a half years, right? It's, it was great. I love, you know what I'm saying? But you're crazy. You call my friends crying, you know what I'm saying? I, I haven't been cheating on you, you know what I mean? I was li like, oh, sorry, we've been together for, anyway. <laughs> I have to tell you something, you know, but you say well, I, I've been cheating. I'm not cheating. Well, I wasn't cheating, but... I, you know, I'm living in Joe's basement, mm -hmm. and uh, for like the last three months, you know, I know you know Lily, I was messing with Lily a little bit for the last three months, but that's the only person I cheated with. Oh, oh the <laughs> only person. Yeah, it's the only the person only I person, cheated right? with. The yeah. only person. Only person. Yeah, I'm not supposed to act like a crazy lady when I have to smell your every time you come home. You don't gotta smell, that's you, I though. Oh, you only reek of sex and perfume. I, and I mean, you think this is funny? 
Like, you think this is a joke, right? Unless because I'm... I ain't playing. I'm tired of this. <laughs> you tell me you love me, right? I'm trying to be with you, babe. I'm gonna leave. I'll move in with you if it's all great. Oh, just like, um, go get locked up again. Go steal something, right? I'm not getting, I'm not going to jail. I'm off probation. Everything's been good. I'm trying to get a job. You know what I mean? Trying? It's just, I'm trying. Trying to get a job. Exactly. I'm trying to be with you, too, but, you know, stuff happens. <laughs> stuff happens. Yeah, like, she, she be going, she be walking around all sexy in Joe's basement. See, it's like I am a, sexy. What haven't I done for you? I bought you an apartment. Lister I bought lit. you a car. I gave you every amount of money you could possibly imagine. There's nothing I want to do for you, okay? Yeah, but I'm saying you... On my hands and knees right now, I love you, and you know that. I love you, too, babe. I'm trying to work it You're out. You're trying, right? That's why I'm here. I told you You're I trying, gotta come right? clean, babe. You gotta yeah. come clean. Yeah, I'm trying well, to come, let's come clean. clean. Let's come clean. How long you been sleeping with this other woman? For, like, three months. How did that start? Well, because it's like, I live in Joe's basement. Right. It's, it's my, <laughs> you know what I mean? And he, 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 take care, he takes care of his grandmom, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, it's like, I guess their sex life isn't really anything to brag about, neither. What, his grandma's? No. Oh. <laughs> Je oh. Joe and Lily. Oh, okay. Because she, it's like, she gives, you oh, know. Oh, Lily is Joe. Oh. Lily's, yeah, Joe's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's like oh. a whole other side of the story. Jerry, but. this isn't the first time. I He's like your sneaks, this. by the way, Jerry. Well, thank you. I, uh, <laughs> thank you. But uh, anyway, like, yeah, so she's <laughs> good. Yeah. But I hope Lily likes him. <laughs> no, she's with Joe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll meet them all. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, here's what's going on. Melissa comes on the show. She's been going with Adam for about two years uh, or two and a half years. She suspects that Adam is up to no good. Adam comes on the show and says, well, I love you, but yeah, it is true. For the last three months, you've been cheating on her, and you've been sleeping with this girl, Lily, yeah, uh, who apparently case, yeah. is the boyfriend, uh, uh, the girlfriend of the guy yeah, the whose house you're sleeping in the basement of. I don't know where the preposition of that sentence is, but anyway. Okay, so what's going on? What do you want to... What do you want to say to him? I love you. I can't believe you would do this to me. I told you I would change. It's not my fault I got to work two jobs and go to school. I'm trying to take care of you. I'm the only family you have. Yeah. You have nobody. You have nobody. Adam, you have nobody. I wouldn't even have cheated if the sex was there. Like, we don't How even have How am I supposed sex. to have sex with you after I work all day, go to school, take care of the house, do the cooking, the cleaning, I do everything. And then cook. you want me to have sex with you? I mean, you don't even cook. You order, like, Chinese food you're talking about you cook. You, you're eating, right? Yeah, I'm eating. Well? <laughs> yeah, with your dirty <laughs> At all, or is... Yeah, we're... Yeah. I mean, we are, but... Once in a while, not, Jared, not, not like that. You know how my sexual appetite is, babe. I need that, like, five times a night. <laughs> How am I supposed to have sex with you? <laughs> Easy. Pull down your pants, lay on the bed. I'll do the rest. <laughs> Same. What a guy. <laughs> there you go. But I do want to be with you, though. If you want to work it out, I'm saying I'll move out of the basement. I'll move in with you. Well, let's meet Lily first, all right? Here's Lily. <laughs> What's funny? This is What's funny? funny? Right? It was just sex, yo. I don't want him. I don't oh, you don't need want him. him. I don't need you don't him. Want him. Like I don't your need relationship's him. I don't need him. Enough. Bitch, bitch, get over it. Get I'm over it. I'm supposed to get, get over it. Get over it. I'm supposed to get over it. Get over it. I'm supposed to get over it. Whole neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over it. Get over it. Get over it. What, 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 what? I put food in your mouth, I do not and you're going to do I that, do not right? You? What about all the times I cried about Adam to you? You don't love him. I was just wondering what neighborhood she it was. my <laughs> Okay, go ahead. It's Well, because you said she did the whole neighborhood. Oh, oh.
There's, there's more to come. We'll be back. Adam comes on the show to tell Melissa that for the last three months he's been cheating with Lily. Uh, what do you want to say to Lily, Melissa? I can't. I can't believe this. <laughs> I really can't believe just it. Just get over it. It's just sex. That's it. Yeah, it's just sex. Just it's sex. not just sex with every just guy. Sex. It's not sex. How with do you just know it's every guy? guy? How do you know it's every guy? Huh? I sat there and cried to you about Adam. We went to go look about for him when Adam, he was About Adam. Yeah. yeah. And look how much he was Joe at my place. You. And he look was how at much my he place, right? You. He was at my place, right? So he's a, Get over it, all right? Keep him. I don't want him. Keep him. So you have friend is Joe. Yeah. And you guys live together. And he's, Some. and he's, oh, oh, sometimes. Yeah. And he stays over in the basement. That's how you two got together? Yep. Did he come on to you or did you come on? It was on? mutual. It was mutual. Does, um, does Joe have any idea this is going on? No. And you're a friend of Joe because, I mean, he's letting you stay at his place. He's trying to be nice to you. He's cool, but well, he's well, not going to be real cool when he finds out that you've been sleeping with his girlfriend. Boy. Do you really love Joe? Yeah. And you don't? Do you feel bad about cheating on him? Honestly, yeah, I do, kind of, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. A I don't know, not really. Because you don't really have feelings. For no, him. I don't. It's just a sex thing. Okay. How often do you sleep with him? Daily. <laughs> <laughs> Daily. Four times a day. At work. Four times a day. I told you, Jerry. I need that. It's like. <laughs> I can never have enough, man. You said you need it five times a day. What do you do for the other? <laughs> I <laughs> Let's, okay, you're going to tell Joe what you've been doing, huh? Okay, here is, he's been outside the studio. Here is your boyfriend, Lily, Joe. How you doing? What's going on, Jerry? How you doing? Shot Town, what's going on? How you doing? What's going on? What you got me? Jerry, we even got a chair for you. Hey, there you good. go. How you doing? Um, what's up? I love you with all my heart. Yeah. But Come I gotta on, tell you on. something. What's up? I've been sleeping with Adam for yeah, three right. months. Yeah, all right. Stop playing. And all this time, I take care of my grandma most of We've been together for exactly, two and a half exactly. years. Exactly. Well, Quality time exactly. to come up and get quality time. I don't care. You know I don't play. You know I don't play. You know I don't play. What Wait, are you talking about? I've been there. I've been there when, all the time. When? When? You're supposed when? To stick. When? When were you there? When? I was there the whole time. When you, you were locked up. Oh my God. You're supposed to stick by myself. What are you talking about? When you were locked up. What are you talking about? I'm saying you're supposed to stick by me. That's my friend. Double he lives face. in my basement. You're always at my house. I take care of you. Who feeds you? Huh? Huh? Who sells you? Not you. Huh? Okay. Your grandma. Who? Yeah, Your yeah. grandma. You basically disrespect my whole family. Your grandma. All right. All right. You don't take care of me. Cause you live in my basement, Cause, dude. Man, you act like what?
You had no idea. You had no idea. That I had no was idea, man. I'm playing my part. I'm trying to take care of him. Give him a place to stay. Girl loves the. She don't. Yeah, man. She, man. All right. Has she cool, cheated sir? on you before? Are you aware? No. That you've been faithful. To I've him? been faithful. Ha have you been faithful to him? That was the only. No. I've been faithful. And these two, they. What's your? Oh, uh, get it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sounds good. good. Sounds good. I ain't the only one that sounds, right, sounds good. Been around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got my girl over there anyway. I don't want sounds that. Good. Huh? Look at your girl. Are you Dude, kidding I me? I came on to tell you. Are you kidding me, cuz? I came on to tell you cuz I'm saying I felt bad, but. So what's gonna happen now? I'm saying. Where you gonna live? Where you gonna live at? We're gonna live that. There, dog. Better go to her. Oh, okay. Back up, Joe, do you, do you love Lily? I do love her. I've known her since high school. Like, I've been with her for so she long. Same, too. She loves my man. Well, she <laughs> my man, she too. She loves my little young gunner, you know what I'm saying? Young gunner. <laughs> exactly. No, pistol young. Pete. Exactly. Okay. Young. Why don't you young. Two talk to young see boy. <laughs> okay. Talk you two talk to see if this is gonna be safe. I mean, I don't even know if I can ride with you anymore. Like, how you gonna be faithful to me? You know I will. I love you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I promise. I don't know. I have to just see. I, I don't know if I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be going. I might stay in Chicago for a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. You know I mean? I see next to you. Oh. 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 I love you too. Stay with me then, please. It's gotta change when we go home right. then. All right. You wanna do something. All right. You wanna do something. It's gonna change. All right. I got you, yo. What about you guys? Is this gonna. You gonna take him back? Why? I'm saying, I'm, I'm trying to be with you, baby. I ain't trying to. Why? Cause, man, look at you. You're what did I do? All what fine did I do? What did I do to you? Ain't do nothing. Lucky, you work on give me a little more, you know what I'm saying, behind once in a while. I'll stop cheating. Ooh. <laughs> so you, but I'm trying to stay faithful with you. I'm moving to your house, you know what I'm saying? I make sure we get it a little quality time in. A lot of quality time in, actually. <laughs> you can do, huh? It's a bleach blind ass wig on, man. Shut your mouth. Got like four, four chins. Chins go from here to here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Talk to her. Talk to her. I'm saying, I you know, know I love why. you. I want to know why. What did I do? Everything I'm else I haven't done for you is good enough? You were the whore? You're the <laughs> whore here. You stay in Chicago. You ain't even come back. You better stay here. Stay here. What's up, baby? I'm pleading for you, babe. Look. I'm on my knee on national TV. That ain't saying love right there. We'll be back. I have a comment for the woman with the stretched uterus. No, not you, not you, her. What? Last time I saw a belly hanging like that, it came with a stocking full of presents. That's cold. I got a question for the whore up there. Did you, like, decide that you were going to sleep with a dork after your boyfriend? All right, God, go You don't even down. know the story. Uh, were yeah, you, you know, I do. Uh, I was watching it. And you know what? I wouldn't have slept with a dorky guy like that when I got a good-looking guy right there next to me. You come here. You come here. Come here. Come on. You know you ain't no pretty thing yourself, and you should keep them saggy in your shirt. Is that your main up? 
I just want to ask the guy in a blue shirt, uh, did you see your shadow the other day? You look like a groundhog. So where's your girl at? This whole studio audience. Uh. Awesome. So the girl on the end, you said you have ten children. The girl on the end has ten children. Hey, okay, well taken care of. <laughs> what age did you start having children? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Jerry, I just want to say, them two right there, the light skin. Girl, and that one, y'all some little dirty much, and y'all got y'all butt whoop. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, hold on. And you in the turquoise shirt, if she too bad. Yo, say cheese I'll for the at you, old head. Don't swear. You need to take a look at that gap in your mouth. I got a question for her right there. You just nasty. If you want, you come with me, and you know what? for the last two girls on the segment. Whether or not you're a whore, I want to know what the hell either of you saw in that guy right there. All right. Oh my gosh, she got six girls. You got stretch marks for days. Yeah. Hello, Jer. Um, Joe, I, I hear uh, you're going to have an extra room downstairs? Hey. Man. <laughs> Hook, me up, Hook me up, Hook me up. I'll be back for the final four. Pimp, oh, hey. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show, and uh, good luck. I hope you can work your relationships out. You know, surely there are limits to what anyone has to accept in a relationship, and there are times you simply have to say, enough. I'm not going to take that anymore. It's over. But that's not to say that there's no room for forgiveness, that it's one and out, one screw up in your history, I'm gone. After all, our romantic relationships in life are with people, not gods, so the imperfections and vulnerabilities are inevitably part of the package. When a loved one wrongs you, is the hurt so deep, so fundamental that there's simply nothing there anymore? Or is it something that can be worked on? Is this a pattern that's likely to be repeated? Are you simply using the incident as an excuse because you really don't want to be in the relationship anyway? Putting issues of pride and ego aside for the moment, the question really isn't whether you need to forgive him or her, but whether in time, if you don't, will you ever forgive yourself? Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs> What do you think about that new nickname, Groundhog? Oh, man, that's <laughs> crazy, right? What's up with all that? Why do they just hate me? Just but like... I, I got to say, you know, you know what it is? They're jealous. That's, that's what he was you know, I got to say, you know, 
<laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not the best looking guy in the world, and either are you. I, you know, it's easy to say. And fresh you got now, these two pretty hot girls. It's all fresh now, baby. They have some explaining to do. They say that one bed is not enough. And they're here to expose their liaisons and tell their lovers, baby, I have been bed hopping. Okay, psychic lover says that he can predict the future. He says when the moon is full, all of his women howl. This sounds like a perfect guest for our show. Please welcome psychic lover. Jerry. Psychic, welcome to the show. What, what? Welcome, Jerry. Hey, nice to see you, guy. What? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it that you do? Jerry. Uh, yes. Through divine intervention with the stars. Yeah. And the moon. Yeah. And, and the planets. And drugs. <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, what? The stars. What? Give me the answers. I predict the future. I know about the cheating men. The cheating men who hurt the broken heart women. Oh. Jerry, I am never wrong. Never wrong. Uh, so what happens? Women come to you. Women come to you. Jerry. And you advise them on what? On their relationships? Jerry. That's my the name. women come to me. They have problems. They must if they're coming to you. I solve their problems. <laughs> Okay, Samantha, how did you meet Psychic Lover? How did this come about? Who solved your problem? Okay, um, Jerry. Yes. I've been suspecting my man of cheating on me. Yes. Very so. I've been with my boyfriend for two years. Yes. And he comes home late at night. I told you that. <laughs> he hangs. Late night? Yes, you did. That's right. And he, you know, hangs out. He goes to go-go bars. And he has, you know, oh. he has, you know, he comes home with flyers of dancers in his pocket. And they have, you know, female Who numbers on the back that, of Samantha? them. You did. Thank you, you did. Jerry. And he has, you know, female numbers on the back of his, you know, on, on the back of the paper. Yeah. And his pager goes off all times a night. And, you know, I was just tired of this. Ooh. Our relationship is, we've become, we came real close. I've been seeing him for like four so now, months now. So now you're seeing him? Yes. Yes, because he read, you know, he told me that my relationship was I just healed to this young child's body, Jerry. I've changed her, and she's perfect now. She's doing much better because of me, Jerry. Yeah, okay, have a seat. Here is your boyfriend. Now, you, you, uh, your, your boyfriend. Does he, does he know that you've been with uh, no. Psychic Lover here? He, he doesn't know that, oh, oh, you know. What? He doesn't know that me and him have a relationship. You know, I've been, you know, we became very close. I've been All right, well, I'll let you talk to him. Here is your boyfriend, Marco. Yeah. He's a cheater! Who's he? Um, Marco, this is my friend, psychic lover. Um, He's I a cheater, just a why. Um, you know, Does I he look like a cheater? A cheater. I really was, I'm not satisfied with you coming home late at night. I come home late at night because I have to work all day. You know how much I care about you. You know we went through... He's but I, I found female numbers on the back of some are flyers. So? Them be my, that's my cousin stuff. That ain't mine. What does a female number look like? Yeah. What you talking about? If I, if I cheated, you think I'd come home every night? I call back your pages and a girl answers the phone and when she hears my voice, she hangs up. I'm home! 
always correct. Always, always. So, so what, why, why we had to come here? What, what, what's going on? What's, what's this? You're a cheater. That's why. And I. <laughs> really? You, you, you him? Man, you just shut up. We've been through too much to have to go through this stuff. You brought me on national TV to tell me this? Uh, whatever. You're saying you haven't been cheating. No, I ain't been cheating. She know this. Well, okay. maybe he's What not evidence right now. do you have that he's been? Um, what about the girl around the corner? You don't, you know there ain't nothing going on with me and the girl around the corner. The girl that you've been taking home. Pick that advice. For money. Well, Excuse me, Jerry. I don't understand why your pager goes off at 5 o'clock in the morning. we need to leave the sky And why you come home at 4.30 sometimes. You sometime need to shut up, baby. That's on what you need. On the weekend. Need. You, need. That's what you need to shut up. That's what you need to do. For real. <laughs> See, you better get my man for real. I predict you will be a loser all your life. Get him. <laughs> and you're going to believe him. Looking like Barney. <laughs> There's more to this story. We'll be right back. Point is, as I understand it, I've been told by my producers yes, that you have a fiance. With this. Yes, I do. Does she does she know about your healing tactics? Uh, Jerry, I didn't predict this right now, but we hold one second. Well, she's backstage. I think she knows now. Here is here she is, Lakeisha. We've been talking here to uh, Psychic Lover. Psychic Lover uh, says that uh, yeah, women who are in relationships come to him when they think they're having problems. Right. He predicts what's going on, what will happen. Uh, she, and so he told, among other women, he told uh, oh, help me here. Samantha. He told Samantha that his, her boyfriend was cheating on her. She believed it. And uh, Marco denies it, that he says he... I ain't never cheated, Jerry. I don't you cheat. never cheat. Okay. 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 But I don't see. here's where it gets a little bit uh, seedy here. You not only tell these women that the guys are cheating on them, but you then sleep with them. Well, Jerry. Yeah, we messed them. Okay. Jerry. We messed around. All I do is heal them. They need the feeling of. <laughs> Here's the point. Okay. The point is, as I understand it, I've been told by my producers yes, that you have a fiance. Anybody with this? Oh. Yes, I do. Does she does she know about your healing tactics? Uh, Jerry, I didn't predict this right now, but we hold one second. Well, she's backstage. I think she knows now. Here is here she is, Lakeisha. Bad problem. How could you do this to me? You gonna sleep with this tramp right here? All right. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What do you want to say to you? Didn't know that he does this, huh? What do you want? No, to... he's supposed to be a plumber. No, don't so who's that? Okay. Oh. You look like a plumber. It sounds. It sounds to me like he's been doing some plumbing. Yes. You what? Get the job done, Jerry. Oh, 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 I'll show you a job. 
Don't even she should even talk. Okay, okay. It's okay. A service. Well, there's another guy. You told another. Wait, you told another woman that uh, her boyfriend was cheating on her, and they split up. And here is the guy that you said was cheating on her. Oh. Here is Roach. saying uh what happened let me hear your story don't go after him let me hear your story man he, got problems though for real he told you had a really? you had a relationship with a girlfriend yeah, right and you know what i'm saying she making a little psychic phone whatever he's supposed to be you know what i'm saying making a little phone calls to my man and things you know what i'm saying telling something i'm cheating i'm doing this i'm doing that you know what i'm saying hold on bro but you can't tell me what i'm doing though bro the stars the stars whatever, man. The stars you got stars lie. flying around your head bro For real. Let me, let me I got it. a feeling if you continue this, you're going to see stars. Let me hit him. Hey! Well, let's meet her now and, and find out what's going on with her. What's her name? Tanita? Yeah. Here's Tanita. <laughs> Tanita, I understand you've been going with Roach for three years. Yes, I have. He looks like a roach. That's his name. Shut up. Shut up. All right. All right. Get up and come down here. Okay. Uh, what happened? How did you wind up going to see the psychic lover or whatever? Well, I um, met my psychic lover through a friend. Yes. And um, I started seeing him. We had started having sessions every week. So she got drama, so you want to bring drama to me, right? I'm not bringing no drama to you. He told me that you were cheating on I me, guess. and I Thank believe you. him. If the whole want to hold in, you let Shut her go. Up, fool. All right. Uh, All right. All right. The psychic lover. He's my man now. He your man? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, that wasn't even explained, though. You know what I'm saying? All I know, you ain't say nothing about this in love, fine. Well, I didn't tell you. I'm only saying is that you that you kicking it with him though, like that. I slept with him too. And it's been going on for months. Little roach. Okay, well, well, come holler, little roach. Okay. All right. So this relationship is over now. Yes, it is. And it ain't over. Leave it with everybody. That's what she say. Uh, who's uh, and you're fi you're finished with you're finished with I'm him. I'm finished with her. You're finished with her. <laughs> and you you're, you're going to stay with psychic lover? He's sleeping with everyone. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> what do you want to tell Tiny? Well, what I want to tell Jack and what I want to tell Tiny is that it's been somebody else besides them too. Today, guests say they were born to bed hop. They're here to let their lovers know about their sexcapades. Now, I know. Well, Vampiro says that his love life is getting confusing. He says he has a different woman for each day of the week. So, uh, do you love do you love any of these women? I love all the women. I love every woman in the world. I think they're the best. You know the feeling's mutual. Hey, you know that, hey. <laughs> so, uh, so you lie to them. Do you tell them you love them? I don't lie. I just, you know, love all the women. I don't lie to them. I tell do them I care about them. Do you tell them that there are other women? Do they think uh, that no. you're... No, I won't tell them that there's other women, but I'll tell them I got friends. You got friends, okay. Got friends. Well, let's meet the first woman you're going to... How long have you been with Jackie? I've been with Jackie for a year. For a year, and you're going to tell her now that there are other women? Well, I'm going to tell her that, um, you know, we had ups and downs, but 
I had to do what I had to do as a man. You got to do what you got to do. No doubt, y'all. Okay. Well, here's your girlfriend, Jackie. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, how did you guys meet? How did we meet? On Halloween or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Well, it was kind of strange the way we met. Yeah. And uh, how's the relationship going? It's not been going too good, Jerry. It's been up and down, and Aww. we are not getting along. And what, does he bite you? Sometimes he does, yeah. <laughs> he does bite me. Okay. Uh, what do you want to tell us? How, at one point, you really loved him, didn't you? Or you do? I do. You do love him. He better love me back, too. Well, I think so. What Go ahead. What are you going to tell me? My baby, you know how we had our ups and downs and everything like that, right? Well, I brought you on the show to tell you that I've been cheating on you with one of your friends. On national TV? You know what I had to do, you know? And... I want to know who she is right now. I want him to bring her. Jerry, bring her out. I want to know who she is. I want to know who she is. I want to know who she is. I don't care. I don't care. I want to know who she is. She better not be one of my friends. What you want me to do? Tiny, how could you do this to me? What just happened? How could you do this to me? You've been my friend for over how long? Three years? What? It, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, you no, 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 Come on. Relax. It's enough. I don't got words for you. If, I got no words for you. If she's... Jerry, I treated this girl like she was my daughter. All right? Like my daughter. And she betrayed me like this? You was treating a man right. Maybe you wouldn't... No, I've been treating him right. All right? I've been treating him right. And you know that. You know that very If she's well. your friend, why would you sleep with him? Because he came to me. She wasn't treating him right. What do you mean he came to you? He ain't got time for you. He ain't got no time for you. And you know that. He ain't got no time for you. It's a done, you know leave. that. No you know that. You're a little slut. That's why you are. You're a little slut. You're a little slut. You're a little slut. You know that. 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 What do you want to tell... What do you want to tell Tiny? Well, what I want to tell Jackie and what I want to tell Tiny is that it's been somebody else beside them, too. Get please. One ain't get, enough. You don't get please. You ain't getting please. That's, that's getting please? That's you ain't getting please. I'm more, I'm more than a woman than these two little girls. All right? I'm more than a woman than these two little girls. They ain't nothing next to me, and you know that. Okay. Okay. I, I have an idea. Everyone, stay in their seat just for a moment because we got to give these guys a rest. Okay? So stay in your seat, please, please. Yes, Thank sir, you very much. Thank you. Stay in your seat. Let's. I'm a chicken. Um, how long have you been with him? Six months. Do you know these other women? No, I don't. What do you want to tell her? Yeah, speak. Well, what I want to tell her is that, you know, I don't mean speak. to hurt nobody, but, you know, yeah. I've been with her for a while. Been with her not for a while. while. It's, it's not a while. Nobody. It's been a year. Yeah, but a whole year of my life I've dedicated I've been to you. you. I right? spent time with you all the time. We had and you're doing this to me with not one, two, 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 two girls, two girls, two girls, two girls.
Well, what am I? What am I? You my main woman, but they fucking scandal. Main woman? What kind of main woman am I? What kind a of man woman? woman? A good woman. Oh, so why don't you tell them and you better choose right now. True. You better make up your mind right now. Now. Can I have all three? No. No, you can't have it. Why not? Yeah. Lady, no, I don't have you have the cake to pay for it? You can't want it. Don't you get near me. It is a good show. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I'll break you in two seconds. You better seconds. choose. I'll break you in you two seconds. You better choose. I can't choose. Treat you like a daughter and look what you're doing to me. I don't believe this, Tiny. You're out of my life. I buried you today. Today, you're dead. You're buried. Today. We'll be back. Stay with us. Ten feet. Ten feet. playing musical beds. They're here to reveal that they haven't been monogamous in their relationships. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> Marcus says that the only reason he cheated on his girlfriend was that his mistress reminded him of her. Hi, man. Hi, man. No need to. Can I get a white, white? Yeah. You... What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, there's more than one dog in this room. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Where your man at? Where y'all man at right now? If you're okay, if your mistress, if your mistress, you're saying that you were with your mistress because she reminded you of your girlfriend. Well, if you like the look so much, then why aren't you just with your girlfriend? Uh, you know what, Derek? My girlfriend stays sleep a little too much. You what? She sleeps a little bit too much. You know what I mean? She 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 gets tired a little too much. She she. She slacks on her job a little too much. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, what's her it's job? Got, it's got to be there. It's got to be there when you're ready for it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. But you know what? I know all y'all get y'all groove on. Some of y'all done tiptoe. You know what I mean? I ain't the only tiptoe. I ain't the only cat burglar. In how long? You know what I mean? How long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. long have you been? Uh, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Uh, I've been with my girlfriend for three years. Three years? Yeah. Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. That's oh. all good. <laughs> Guess what? I ain't here. I, I'm from Nashville. I ain't come to Chicago to get no love. You know what I mean? I'm here to talk to my gal. The rest of y'all can go. Okay, you are, so go. You're, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So you're going to tell your girlfriend that you've been cheating? She deserves to know. Oh, I bet. <laughs> uh, and uh, who? Who have you been cheating with? No, it's her mother, really. The what? Her mother, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't do the dudes thing. It's all crazy. It's all crazy. It's all crazy, baby. Love y'all. I got the, I got my groove on. <laughs> I ain't no way to play. I hate the game, baby. It's a dirty, dirty game. You know what I mean? It's a dirty game. You have been with your girlfriend uh, for three years, and now you've been sleeping with her mother. How long you been sleeping with her mother? Uh, it went on. It went on two, off and on two, three months. Two, the last two or three months, you've been sleeping with the mother. How honestly? I mean, yeah. How can you justify that? Uh, I ain't here to justify it. You're just here to tell her. Yeah, I'm just here to just put it out in the open. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? You don't look too. You don't look too clean. Your damn self. You know what I mean? <laughs> Girlfriend Latoria. <laughs> Hi, Latoria. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How long have uh, you, you guys have been together? What, three years, he says? Yeah. And how's the relationship going? Jerry is fine. I like it. We don't argue much. 
Uh, and hopefully one day we can get married. Oh. Yeah, what's his best quality? Well, he takes care of his business. He, I love him. Good. See? Okay. Seems like a lovely lady. What do you want to tell her? Uh, I mean, I bought you the Jerry Springer here to tell you. Um, I want to be with you. You know, you've been there for me when I needed you. Um, we've been through our ups and downs. You know, I've forgiven you for, for being dishonest to me. And now I want to, you know, confess that I've been dishonest to. What is it? Well, last well, two or three months. Been cheating. What who? You're about to find out. How can you do it like this, Marcus? Oh, well, come on out. You might as well find oh, out. Never happened. promised me, you know, we're going to do this, do that, we're going to have a... You came right in the house, you, you drank one, one, cup of champ, one cup of champagne with me, and you went to bed. Mother, yeah. I just got out from work. Wait a second. The I mean, punishment for going birthday. to bed is not, gee, I'm going to sleep with your mother. She doesn't like champagne, you know, but her mother does. So me and her mother drink champagne. Yeah, yeah. This is your daughter. How in the world could you sleep with your daughter's boyfriend? I know I did it, and I'm sorry, Latoria. I'm very sorry. And it'll never happen ever again. Never. Mm, Mama, I Why y'all boo? Y'all can't boo me. Y'all probably done, done it too. Oh, yeah. What do you want to say to your daughter? Why don't you two talk? Latoria, I am so sorry. It happened twice. Oh. It will never happen to me. I forgive you because you my mama. You always going to be my mama, but you... Yeah. I mean, you lied to me before. You know, you were well, dishonest with me. He wasn't when, 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 when we were separate. Yeah. Hey, now, nah, see, see, when y'all booing, when y'all get through booing, though, Jerry. You'd like to still be with us? Yeah, oh yeah. And you're going to think about it? Mm hmm. Aww. We'll be back. Two lovers are better than one. They say they're here to expose their secret lovers. Okay, please meet Amanda. She says that her boyfriend has no idea about her kinky ways. Hello. Amanda, what's going on? Um, well, I've been a naughty, 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 naughty girl, Jerry. <laughs> but naughty. it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. What you been doing? Um, well... It would be all right, but I do have a boyfriend, yes. and he doesn't really know anything about things like that. So, uh, the latest thing was last week I had a threesome when uh, he wasn't around. You, uh, you can see how our audience disapproves. Uh, <laughs> so, you have a boyfriend. How long have you been with the boyfriend? About six months. Six months. And you like him, love him? Like him a lot. Like him a lot. Uh, and so you're basically going to tell them that you've been cheating, and you've been cheating with a, uh, a man and a woman, two women, two guys? A man and a woman. A horse and a dog? What? <laughs> I'm, no, you don't know. <laughs> on, our, on our show, you always got to ask. <laughs> okay, but a, a man and a woman? A man and a woman. Okay. And does he know them? Oh, yeah. Oh, he does? Yeah. All right, here's your boyfriend. What's his name? Droopy? <laughs> Uh, 
Droopy, welcome to the show. Oh. How long uh, How long you guys been together? Well, going on six months. And how's the relationship going? It's going good. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. What do you want to tell him? Baby, I've been a bad girl. I know I always told you everything, I know, but I didn't tell you a lot of things about me. And um, first off, last week when you were in L.A., uh, I had a threesome. Whoa! The what? Yeah, <laughs> I had a threesome. I mean, you know I'm crazy, but I mean, I don't know, you didn't know about all that, but, <laughs> but I'm, I just want to be straight up, you know, let you know what I'm about. The tramp. She's about to be single. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. And with who? Let's come on out. Welcome to the show. You have very nice lipstick. Uh, <laughs> you are Christina and Shane. How do you know Droopy? Well, I know Droopy uh, for about two years. I lived in L.A. with him. We've been good friends for a while. If you've been good friends, why would you sleep with his girlfriend? Why not? I don't understand. She's my roommate, and we just... Hit it. Hit it. It's supposed to be my dog, I mean, it's but there. it just ended up Wait. being my mutt. <laughs> Hey, but you might got your girl, though, right? It's all good. There's plenty of them out there. Cheeks is cheeks, so... Yeah. So, who do you room with? You said roommate. Amanda's my roommate. Oh, you guys are roommates. And, and you're the girlfriend. No, I have my own girlfriend. Whoa! How silly of me not to know. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. So, uh, so, how are you together with Shane? Um, Tramp, too. You're just friends. You're just jealous because I could satisfy a girl better than you ever could. You want something to play with? Toys R Us is down the street. mother you are to do that to your daughter yeah. she can't uh, out of your stomach if you did that to her what kind of mom are Man, you i'm a loving mother i love my yeah, daughter you love your, your, your uh, daughter's uh, boyfriend obviously I mean, it happened but it won't happen again and she don't have to worry about it and you yeah. really don't have to worry about it because you is not my daughter i'm glad i'm not your daughter because what you're doing to your daughter that's why there's cycles in this world because mothers about. like you that's why there's people cracked out because mothers like you Comment for a vampiro guy or whatever you are. Um, save the ladies the trouble and go play in the daylight and disappear, okay? Get yourself a man. I would like to say to Barney, why don't you go back and play with Baby Bob? Oh! You need a man. That's what you need. Your man is cheating yeah. on you. I have you a question. Cheating. Wait, hold on. Uh, I have a question for the wannabe psychic. Did you know you, did you predict that when you got up here, he's going to get whooped and get thrown around in your Barney suit? I got a thing for that guy right there in the purple. You whack! You whack! The man right there that, that slept with the mother, yeah, yeah. is this your uh, kid folk right here? <laughs> are y'all kids? Are y'all any kids? Stand up, man. Y'all any kids? I just want to know, uh, the lady next, know, next to the vampire, when y'all holding y'all next bone you thong? Come on the next <laughs> Get back 
threesome lady. Hey, you want to come over and teach us some tricks later on at the hotel room? Okay. You either okay. a dog or hey, you're not. Hey, for the for the fat chick that cheated on Droopy, Jenny Ke Jenny Craig's located right next door to Toys R Us. Oh. And to the to the dude that slept with his girlfriend's mom, Tell don't you know there's no the sex hole. in the champagne room? Oh my God. You know For Samantha, mm -hmm. your first boyfriend was like a replica of Buckwheat, <laughs> and the second one looks like the, the, the giant purple grape. I don't understand. You're a beautiful girl. <laughs> why, why don't you find somebody that would treat you nice, and you're beautiful. I don't understand that. I mean, he's a very nice person. I really love him dearly. You know, he gives me good advice. <laughs> I mean, you know, he helps me, me out you know, in ball, other ways. Than, Betty you know, helps you out. He's really grown to be my friend, you know. I really like him. I just want to know, uh, the chicks that were with the psychic guy, why would you believe him? He is totally <laughs> not <laughs> true. You don't understand. You are a loser as well. Your you man is cheating on you. Well, you didn't say anything right. You didn't say one thing right. Where's your you man at now? You didn't get nothing right. Where's your man now? Oh. Right here. And you know what? His name's not Ted. <laughs> we'll be right back. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us, and um, good luck in the decisions you make now. I hope you're able to have some stable relationships. Good luck to you. You know, cheating is biblical in its derivation. It doesn't excuse it. It's simply a recognition that ever since men and women were attracted to each other, being with one person while professing love and commitment to another has been a fact of romantic life. Now, the crime of it is not the sex, but the dishonesty, that is, being deceitful even to one you are close enough to be intimate with. We sometimes laugh at the behavior of our guests, but what is not funny is the loss of their individual honor. Their relationships may be over, but we all survive romantic losses. What is less easy to survive is the damage to character that the cheating represents. Now, this isn't about saving one's relationship. It's about restoring one's personal dignity and self-worth. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Welcome the eighth wonder of the world, Sherry Springer. your relationship by revealing a secret? Have you questioned your lover's trust? Well, yeah, my guests today say they're tired of broken promises, and they're here to face the truth and fight for their lovers. Okay, please meet Tim. Tim says living with his wife and her new lover is a living hell. Tim, what's going on? Me and my wife have been together for 10 years. Yeah. We've been married two years, got married two years ago. Right. Well, uh, I got thrown in jail. I that, made some mistakes. You were thrown in jail. Okay, well. Did it hurt well, when I they did, threw you? Yes, it, it hurt. I mean, yeah. it devastated me. Okay. Well, anyway, I got thrown in jail. When I got out, 
I meant I was expecting to go home to my wife. Right. Well, what do I find out? She's living with a pitiful excuse for a man. I mean, he's a boy. He's a boy. And he's well, never even been to jail. No, no, no. He's never done nothing. He's never done nothing. Well, anyway, yeah. just recently, uh, she gave me the opportunity to ask me if I could stay, that I could stay with them at their house because I really had nowhere to go. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, I, yeah, okay, great. This is a chance for me to get my wife back. Right. Well, but he's still there. Cause he's still there, and I can't stand it. I mean, I hate it. Oh. Um, Who does she sleep with when you're over there? She sleeps with him. And it, oh. I mean, it just. I mean, I can't. I can't stand to see him touch her. I can't stand to see him kiss her. And, I can't. I mean. And you're I just want. I want to kick his ass. Yeah. I mean, You're, you're not upset with I me. I won't hurt her. No, no, I'm, no. I'm a good guy. I, I just, I just want my wife back. Yeah, you. Do. And I'm here today because I'm. He's, he's mine. Well, why don't we meet him? Yeah. Yeah. There he is. There's Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. She observed you. She loves me. I don't want to love her. You ain't gonna take it no more. Come on. Yeah, you think you're a man. I am a man. I am the one that she loves. I love her. Yeah. What the hell can you do for her? You can't do squat. You can't keep a damn job. Well, at least I had a... Oh I give her what she needs. I've been with you her ain't never years. been there for her. I've been here with her for 10 years. How long have you been with her? I've been there for a year. Yeah, you... I give her what she wants, yeah, what she needs. Her. You want her? Yes, I want her, and I'll fight for her. If I have yeah, to. you Come fight. on. Fight, fight. You can't... Oh, there's your watch. I may not be able to feel lost like about talking and stuff. But at least I have to find what she needs. And I'm there you for can't her. Get her okay, she needs. She's still you can't, I've been with her 10 years. What have you done for her in a year? Not squat. Let her squat. I hate her with the kids. I hate her with the kids. <laughs> Don't okay. want to sit. Have a seat. Relax. Have a seat. Have a seat. Relax. 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 You can get back Have a seat. You better sit down. Don't just come over and make me. All right, here's my question. I have a question. Why, if you know that she's still married to him, why, do, why are you living with her? Because I love her. You love her. <laughs> why is she still married to him? That I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Because she still loves me. Yeah, but she you still loves me. You still like, cares about him. That's why we ain't she loves me. She okay. still loves me. You say she still loves you, but she I know is. She loves she's me. living with him. Yeah, she's about through with him. Because she's leaving here with me. Okay. Okay. Now, why are you why are you angry at him? Because he's screwing my wife. I, that's a good reason. That's a good Wouldn't reason to be angry? angry. Oh, I'd be unbelievable be angry. Down. But here's the point. Sit down. But the point is your argument is really with her and not with him. Because he doesn't have any commitment to you. She does. She stands here. Yes, she does. And I'm here to prove to her. Well, let's find out what I she mean. has to say. You want to bring... Oh, we're going to break first? Okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to her. Yeah. It's for the first time ever, both of us are going to have sex on this stage. Yeah. joined us. Uh, this is a wild one. We have Tim here who's uh, uh, been married to uh, his wife, to Lisa, for uh, two years, but they've been together for 10 years, so it's a long relationship. Uh, when he went to jail, she suddenly uh, took up with Tom here, and uh, 
So when Tim got out, pretty upset about that, uh, that she's living with Tom, but uh, she invited him to at least have a place to stay, to s live with him this last week. And it's been, I think you said it was like hell like being hell. over there. So he's out, you're obviously upset with Tom, but yeah. Tom's kind of upset with you as well. I don't know how, I mean, it's my wife. That's a good point, it is his wife. <laughs> I've, got been there I've got four 10 then. years involved. I've got so ten. what? You can't, you can't do nothing. Yeah. What have you done? What have you done? I am dying for her whenever uh, she needs me. Yeah. I help her hey, out with you, stuff. You ain't, you ain't when she needs nothing. kids. Want to be there? Uh, yeah. She wants to go somewhere. Sure. I tell you okay. what, let's bring what her of, out. Here she is. There's Lisa. You know what? The time my dad was here, he's done more for me than what no. you've ever done. Okay, I've made some ever. mistakes. I've made yeah, some oh mistakes. Yeah, everybody makes okay, mistakes. Okay, look in my eyes and tell me. I've done everything. Look, 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 no, no. I'm look, sick of it. Look, look, please, you ain't done please, nothing. Nothing. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm sick and tired of being hurt. Look in my eyes and tell me. I'm tired of it. I mean, deep down, I care. Ten years. No, you love me. Shocked to heck. Shocked all to hell. Okay, listen. I'm, t I, I'm taking I've you back I've gave you chances to prove it. I have gave you plenty of chances Just to prove it. Just give me one more, no, please. No, please. No, please. No, please. No, I'm tired of it. Come on. Quit begging like no. a little pup. Because I'm tired. I'm not a pup. You always I'm not do. A pup. You always get no, down on no, your hands and knees. No, yes, you do. No, I don't have yes, to get do. down on my hands and knees. Okay, I've made some mistakes. Lisa. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you still have feelings for him, no? I mean, 10 years together? Deep down, yeah. Okay. I care for him. 10 years for a boy. Do you understand why he's upset, though? I mean, you're his wife. He comes home and he finds you with some other guy. No, that's not his home. It's my, you're my I, wife. I got though. that place you didn't. I'm the one that's ever got it. Because I was in jail. Ever had. Yes, they okay. did. Did there. he get it for you? I've got two kids. Did he get it for I you? I have two. Yes, he helped me get he that house. He didn't get it yes, for you. Did. Oh, he yes, he did. Where's he work? Makes $4 an hour? Oh, I bet he bought a big house. I work 10, 10 days a week or seven days a week, 10 hours for you. A day. Not for me, I've you done don't. All Not for you, for me, every you don't. You. you want to say anything? You, you'll get tired. You'll get tired, man. Lisa, I know I ain't the best for you, and I'm always quiet. Stop but I him. wish you would be my wife if you ever get a divorce from Tim. Because I love you. And I wish I could show you more, but I'm just quiet. And I wish I could show my feelings for you more. But I just love you so much. I know you do. And you've done more for me than what that man right over boat. How can you marry me? You're you my wife. You're, You're my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Walk away from him. Walk away from him. But there is that complication. No, you want to. You are still you married to him. Oh, that could but be took care of. You... That could be took care of. Why well, haven't you got it yet? But you don't know what he's doing. He's a fool. He thinks he can marry marry you? He's You're my me. wife. He's made my kids. That shows you what an idiot he is. <laughs> my kids don't even care. <laughs> what a fool. So you really, you want to marry her? Will you marry me? You gonna grant her a divorce? No. 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 No, it's not a fight. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. When I get back home, when I get back home, I will. I will get a divorce. I'll you, divorce there's you. There's ten years at stake here. You gonna throw away? Ten years. You gonna throw away ten years for a boy? It tore me up. Coming to the house. Just, me. It's coming to the house and living with you. Yeah, did, did. But see, I thought that's my chance to show you. No. Yes. Well, okay. That was my chance. But that's the only place I, you, and had, wanted, to, and that's the only place you his, had to come to. I want to kick his ass so bad every time I see him touch you. 
but I didn't do it because I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't you. want you out there in 10 degree weather freezing your ass off either. That's the only reason why I like to come back to the house. You look, only reason. You I mean you know it. We'll be back. I'm not giving up. <laughs> I've been sleeping with your ex-boyfriend, too. heating up the stage with our hot sex secrets. Yeah. Please meet Amy. Amy says her sex fantasy has changed since she became a stripper. Oh. Amy, Amy, what's going on? Well, I'm coming on the show yes. because I've been with a guy for four years. Yes. We have two kids together, oh. beautiful kids. Yes. But, you know, how relationships go, go it's gone downhill. Oh. It's, it's gotten pretty bad. Yeah. Um, he, he's, you know, I, I've given up my dreams, my career, school, everything, you know, for him, and he hasn't given me anything back, so. Yeah, so you're getting tired. I'm getting very tired of it, Aww. yeah. You talk to Uncle Jerry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so. so <laughs> okay, so yeah. So, yeah, I have a friend. I picked her out because she's she's beautiful, she's sweet, she's sexy, and she's also bi curious. And this is going to be both of our first times. So this other woman so, you that dances with you. you no, she doesn't dance with me. Oh. She's just a friend of mine. Oh, she's a. Friend. But yes, this is I. What I'm going to do. Yes. Is for the first time ever, both of us are going to have sex on this stage. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times people have come to have sex the first time, and I always say. But see, it the, used to be the back seat of a car. Now it's not. It's going crazy. The thing is, he's yeah, well, backstage. He's watching this. He's watching this. He's watching this. This is gonna piss him off. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he does. I don't care what he thinks. Oh. He. <laughs> this is my day. This, this is, is your my day. day. And you this don't is... mind that we're here? No. <laughs> Are these cameras working? <laughs> All right, I'll bring out this. This is the woman you brought. This is a friend of yours, right? Yes. How long have you been friends? Two years. And she's never been with a she's woman either. Never been either. with another woman either. She's. So how do you guys know what you're going to do? <laughs> we'll 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 feel our way around. Here's Angela. In a, on stage in front of a million damn you people. You know what? You could have done this at home. What's your problem? I tried. You ain't never tried. To Every it's always time about you. I tried to talk what do you, you want? You walked off. What are you talking about, Amy? You're always talking about some kind of stupid. What the hell are you thinking? You've got kids. You want to be talking? You don't about care. You're, yeah, you're right. I don't care. I care about my kids and my family. I work my Show ass it. off for you. Show it. Get back on the stage. Oh, the hell yeah. is this? Is us out now? You came no. up. This is. You came up here. Yeah, I'm okay, here. Now you're not gonna go back on. No, no. No, I'm you're not gonna going get back your on ass stage. Back no, on I'm stage not. Now. Who the hell do you think you are demanding me? me? Oh, you stupid bitch. She's. 
saying she wants some attention. I'm not suggesting that this is smart. How much more attention can you get? He doesn't give me tenderness. He doesn't give me anything, okay? I gave up my life. I gave up my family. You know, I, I'm sick of it. You know, I've dealt I bought, with this for four years. I bought you a four house. Years. You bought me... I mean, you what? bought you a house. No, I bought you didn't us buy a me house. anything. You bought, I bought you a house. family a house. That's what we're supposed to be as a family. And, 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 I'm 21 years old. You're going to throw it all never... away over some stupid... What about your kids? My kids are my kids. My kids are taken care of. Yeah, by me. Where the hell are you at? Where I'll party are you? I'm at work. Making money. Oh, yeah, I work every day, and I go home she to the kids. more money than your ass. Your, your you know money, what? She might, but she doesn't have insurance in retirement. I do. So when she's too old to damn take her clothes off and make money, I'm going to have money in the bank. Is this, I want to bring this to a close here, are you saying that you're done with him, or is this just something that can be fixed if he starts paying what you think is more attention to you? No. I, I'm you, sorry, but this is... You want I out? Need I need more than he can give me. And I can give her that. She can give me. Is this me. a permanent relationship here? You just tried it for two minutes here. We have, uh, we, no, we for the longest time we have been looking at each other and, you know, it, it, we were both <laughs> too scared to say anything. Is this, are you really saying you're going to leave him? Yeah, I am. Good. And you're okay. But no, I mean, I, I thought that we could work it out, but apparently You, know, you don't even want to try to work it out. We haven't been able to work it out. What's it, what, what? What's the difference in now? We'll be back. Jerry, I'm a cop from uh, New York City. I got to they're risking their relationships by revealing sex secrets. Please meet Keisha. Keisha says she's not about to lose her lover because of a lie. Keisha, what is going on? Well, I've been with my girlfriend for uh, three years now. Yes. And we have a pretty good relationship. Um, she has a serious attitude problem. Yeah. And she's aggressive, real aggressive, yes. uh, overprotective, you know, and it's caused a lot of problems in our relationship. But actually, I'm here to tell her that I've been sleeping with her brother for the last year. That'll give her an attitude. <laughs> wow. Um, why would you do that? She just, she, she doesn't act like she cares about me. She doesn't give me everything that I need emotionally, physically, and... Is she the first woman you've been with? No, she's not. Is he the first guy you've been with? No, he's not. So, so you've been busy. <laughs> mm. So you're going to tell her today, tonight, that... Yeah, I am. Oh. Well, she's... Oh, she's watching back... Oh, she knows now. Here's Nitra. No, I'm not trying to hear you guys tell me why. No, uh, why? Listen, listen to me. I love you. I really do. But you, as a person, you have to get yourself no, You no, have a lot uh, of issues. No. No, no, you have the issues. I'm not trying to hit it. You don't it. trust me. You don't, you don't trust me. You don't I care about you. How? What you mean? You how? My I've been there for you. I do everything for you. You need to listen to me. Jerry, 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 Exactly what I'm talking about. And you just got this ass I'm about to get your ass. That's cool. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. That's yeah. why I've been doing what I'm doing now. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. yeah. But you love me. Yeah, I love you. That's why I'm about to get your ass. You don't love me. You don't love me. You love me, right? I do love you, and I so, want to oh, be yeah, you real sorry sleeping with my brother. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've been together for too long. I just want you to realize the things that you don't do for me, and that's why it happened. Oh, but he doing it? Is your brother... <laughs> do you have a... <laughs> is he doing it? The emotional part, yes, he's there for me. He is. So, so what you want me to do? 
Be fine with it. Say it's all good. No, it's cool. I want you to know it's not going to happen again. I'm through with it. If you choose to be with me, then that's fine. So where y'all did it at? Because <laughs> we all live together. Y'all live with me, so where you doing it at? Don't stay in my house either. It doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. It does matter. Location, location, location. Oh, yeah. Let's, oh, right. let's bring oh. him out. Jermaine. First of all, don't even come to me like that. You should have been there for her when she needed you emotionally. Oh, oh, you was there for her? Yeah, I was always there for her. We spent so much time together. As tight as me and you is, you gonna go sleep with my girl. Hey, your girl, you know what I'm saying? But you need supposed love. to be a pimp. But you supposed to be a pimp. He your pimp? Is he pimping you? Ain't nobody's you? pimp. You know is what I'm saying? I'm just you? giving her love he she needs, you know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's gonna be what he's doing, what you're not doing, basically. That's right, I'm That's doing everything doing. she needs. Uh, what, what you need? I just want you to realize you need your life. That's what you need it. No. You need some he like, I can win the bought ones if you need it. She probably just need a real man, that's it. You're yeah, a real man. She just need a real man, oh, baby. You're a real man, now. I'm a real man, you're baby. You're a real man, you, you can't get your own girl. She shouldn't have never came to me with all her yeah. problems, you know? All right. You buy one there. I saw the bike tell you every time she came to me with her problems, but she kept coming, so I just hey, gave her what whatever. she needed. You know what? That's, that's cool. It's cool. How y'all doing? <laughs> Do you still love her? I sure do. Aww. Aww. <laughs> well, she says she loves. I mean, she obviously feels bad about what she did. That well, they could at least let it. me watch. Yeah. yeah. You never paid attention to me. You probably could have. <laughs> Wait, you want to watch your brother having sex with your girlfriend? Why not? I know how she like it too. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking a Thursday show. <laughs> You willing to at least talk it over with her? We could talk about it. Yeah. But I don't know where she's gonna be. Well, stand, stand right there. <laughs> so what you want me to do? You want, want me to say it's fine? Me. I'll get over forgive it. Forgive me. You want me to forgive you? And work on our relationship together. Yes, I do. And it's supposed to be just that great. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy for you, but are you willing to walk away from three years? Are you done sleeping with my brother? Yes, I am. I have another, but you gonna sleep with him too? <laughs> Let's bring him on out. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. And why do you look like this? You supposed you supposed to look like he looking. You got on girl clothes. He done flip jack like that. You supposed to be a thug. What's what's this? Are you dressing up for him? No. I don't like this. We'll be back. <laughs> Today are prepared to battle it out for their lovers. Please, please meet Nikki. Nikki says she's here to steal her stepbrother's girlfriend. Oh. Nikki, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm here today to let everybody know um, I have a girlfriend. I've yes. been sleeping with her for about three months, and she's also my stepbrother's girlfriend of a year. Oh. Um, he's a pathetic loser. Treats her like crap. Calls her fat all the time. Downgrades her. Make her makes her feel like she's nothing. Oh. And I love her. She's gorgeous. She's a perfect human being, and I enjoy being with her. We make each other happy all the time. Is she the first woman you've been with? Yes, she is. How did you suddenly start thinking that We've known like... each other for 20 years, and yeah. we've just been through it all together, and we're just sick of the men's crap. All men? All men. And you don't mind that you're hurting your stepbrother? He needs to realize he has something good that he just now lost. I see. All right, so you really like her. Okay, and well, let's tell your uh, stepbrother is backstage watching this. Now, he had no idea this was going None. on. How long have you been sleeping with her? Three months. Three months. Three months. Okay, let's bring him out. He's been watching. He knows now. Maybe if you 
respect her and treat her some respect once in a while, she wouldn't be doing that. I huh? treat her good. I do everything for her. What do you do for her when she calls me up crying? You call her fat? She's I gorgeous. Give her everything She's a perfect she needs. human being. I treat her good. I buy her everything she needs. What do she you give her? She doesn't even need a job. Money don't matter. She needs the emotional support that I give her. How can you do this? I'm your Let's brother. Her Let's no hear more. from her. Here she is. Here's Shauna. <laughs> Whatever. How you could you do this now, to me with my own lost, sister? You lost, you lost now. me. It's over. Aww. You know how much I care about full, both of you. Full. No. How? No, I'm not putting up with it anymore. You never come home. No. When You loved him in the beginning. Yeah, but... When did it stop? When, when I met her. After... It I started, give you everything. Started, you don't work. You don't you need don't, a job. You don't have to do uh, nothing for yourself. Whatever. I do no, everything for no, you. No, you don't. No. No, What's she don't. gonna do for you that I can't? Everything. I know there happy. are vibrators. They're better than that thing. That I... Is there something else you need yeah, to say? Yeah, there is. Um, I've been sleeping with your ex-boyfriend too. <laughs> You guys know each other? Yeah, we do. You're friends. <laughs> yeah, we've been friends for a while. So, Shauna, you've been sleeping with everybody. <laughs> You're a whore. That's all you are. You too. You're supposed to love me like a brother. Hey, it happened, man. I hate every one of you. How could you do it, my friend? It happened. You don't respect her, man. You don't care for her. I give her what she needs. I need you. She's sleeping with her. She's sleeping with him. Whoa. And he ain't no man. He ain't no man. Back up here. What? What's hey, you here? remember that vibrator you bought like a month ago? Yeah. It works real good. It works pretty damn good. Oh, oh man. man. Who would you like to be Nikki. with? If you pardon? Nikki. You want to be with Nikki? Oh. Man. But your Nikki, what's your response? I'm all right. No way in hell. Hey, we've known each longer, more than these two. You know what he put me through. You, you know what I went through that You would have gotten me into your guys' this whole sexual thing. That's just an excuse, happened. and that's a none bull crap None of it would have happened. No. 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 I, Please, uh -uh. we've been known each other for 20 years. It's you broke my heart. Years. You broke, I gave him up for you. I gave him up for you. And now you're he sleeping didn't with him? You didn't even know about us. You didn't have to give him up for me. Yeah. You didn't even that's know the about us. That's the whole reason I left him is because I was with you. And now you're sleeping with him? Forget about it. Not no, forget about, about it. You? No, Why forget about us. You already forget did about that. us. So everyone's going home sister. alone here, huh? Looks that way, Jared. We'll be back. Lady right there in a brown and black dress. Yes. I just want to, just want to know where are your teeth. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? What? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> okay. This is for the Lesbo stripper up front. Yeah, I wanted to know if you make so much money, why don't you uh, get some liposuction or something? <laughs> I have a big one right here if you want it. I have a next one right here if you want it, all right? This question is for the girl in the gray sweater. 
Are you sure that your brother is all man because your girlfriend look like a man? This is for the thug in the middle. Did you grow that mustache to look more like Tupac? That's what you can do. That's what you can do. Don't worry about that. Hi, this is for the lady who slept with everyone in town. How many, how many more people do you have in that little town to sleep with before you have to go to another town to find victims? Yeah, this one here is for the lesbian stripper. Um, do you use her to pick your teeth after the buffet? Barbie. <laughs> Where, no, anorexic Barbie, she know. Where do you go to meet dates? Family reunion? Oh. Bella. Uh, this is for the blondie. Hey, don't feel so bad, so bad. You know, uh, if you get a little tan and gain some weight, maybe somebody will take you out. Huh? Oh. Jerry, I'm a cop from uh, New York City. I got to hey. You know, you got to you got you got to get rid of Dave. Dave's too slow. Yeah, you, you need you got a Dave. Cop. Yeah. You need some new cops up there like from New York. <laughs> yeah. Davey Jerry. says you're kind of slow. <laughs> Jerry, I know if I did lose my job and I was replaced by these fine gentlemen, it would be easy to find employment because of our great president, George W. Bush. Yeah! <laughs> USA! 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 take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us. I know some tough decisions were made in some of these relationships, and I hope it works out for you. Good luck to you. You know, the sadness of a lost relationship is bad enough, but too often we add anger. How dare this person who so occupied my life and my heart leave for somebody else? It's theft, a personal assault, too much for our ego. And we lash out at who we lost and the person who took him or her. And I'm not suggesting it's easy to refrain from such feelings. But we have to know, as bad as those feelings are, it's in our own control as to how long we harbor them. The truth is, we don't want that person back. I mean, who wants to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't love you? Why are we fighting to get this person back? It may have once been good, but it isn't anymore. No, don't let this person continue to hurt you. Let it go. Find someone who will love you back. Then you can have the happiness you want and you deserve. As for the lover you lost, you don't love them. You only loved who you thought they were. You're better off moving on. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. This New York City cops really got me thinking. You guys are slow and bad. Oh, See, come maybe on. one step. We've lost one step over the years. That's about it. I don't know. Hey, you guys, come over here. And your name is John. John. 
You ready to take my guys out for a little competition, baby? Oh, yeah. In the place? Oh, oh, yeah. Easy. These you guys? guys are we'll send you back to New York and diapers. Get out of here. Oh, easy. Easy. Uh, easy. Right All right. No way. It's New York no versus right. Chicago. New York's right. fine. Here we go. This is the speed competition. This guy's going to be in the confrontation, so the fastest guy up here. Go. I'll kick your ass. Go. <laughs> Hey, you guys did a great job. You were really fast. You're new security guys, all right? Thanks. Hey, and you two guys can go take a hike. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's it. Yeah, you guys really did a great job, man. Man, for New York, you guys aren't so bad. Welcome the eighth wonder of the world, Cherry Springer. years we've had many strange stories on this show some of the strangest have come from guest sexual fetishes such as diapers domination even regurgitation but our story today breaks new ground even for our show oh. okay my guest oh get a life <laughs> My guest today, believe it or not, has an unusual fantasy. As crazy as it sounds, he wanted to be a dog for a day. So we went there to take a look. Let's see the tape. Go, you dog. Get out of here! 
glowing, shiny reflection. That's a boy. You're liking a lot. Are you hungry? Okay, honey, just wait one second, okay? All up, okay? That's your special treat. Here you go, sweetie. Have some water, okay? Good boy. Get it all up. Good boy. Beautiful. And you are behaving. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. You want your frisbee toy? Yeah, I know you do. Go get it for mommy. Go get it. Go get it. That's a boy. Go get it. Good boy. Get it for mommy. Come on. That's it. Come on. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Let me see. Stay with us. us last segment we saw this guy you know we've had all kinds of shows with strange sexual fetishes this probably is about as weird as you can get this guy uh, gets a sexual charge out of being a dog 
Let, let, let's meet him. Uh, here's Chris. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, hey, Chris, Derek. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. When did this start? Basically, this started about three years ago. Uh, my girlfriend took me by surprise one night and tied me up and just totally dominated me and took control over me. And, and she, she would not finish oral sex until I was barking like a dog and howling. And, and it, it... Well, a lot, of guys, a lot of guys will howl like a dog, but they don't go around acting like one after that. I mean, it's it, it's something that you know that took me by surprise at first, and then it's just something that I grew to love. I mean, it's it it's it's the most. I mean, everybody out here, I guarantee it, has something that they do that one of us would consider a little off or a little weird. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the only the only thing is, I'm putting it out there. This is me. You know, well, this is what I like. Different. You're not confining it to the bedroom. You know, if 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 you're having sex with your girlfriend and you want to bark, well, go ahead and bark, but. <laughs> But nobody else is walking around the streets barking or... Jerry, Jerry, I don't, I don't see a problem if, if, if I want to walk around the streets. I mean, it's a free country. Why, okay. can't I, you know, why can't I be led around on a leash? Why can't I run around the park with other dogs? Oh, hey, you know. I mean, is, is there... Is no, this no, not no America? laws against it. You can be down on all fours. I know. mean, it's, it's a free... There's nothing wrong with being down on all fours. There's nothing wrong with, with living as a dog and experiencing a dog's life. Now, I, I totally in love the video, it. there was uh, that woman. Is she a dominatrix? She is a dominatrix. And, and basically, uh, when my relationship ended three years ago, I, I had to get, you know, she left me with a void. And I, I had to fill that void, so I started seeing uh, Mistress Tara, and, and she knew exactly what I wanted. Who, who's to sit here and, and judge and say that it's not right? This is what I like. This is me. You know, I mean, this is... I, I'm, do you have I'm, a girlfriend? I'm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And she doesn't know about this? No, she doesn't. <laughs> I, it... Wait a minute. If you were so sure this was normal, why wouldn't you have told her? Because, I mean, I, I feel, every, everyone I've told this. I mean, Are there every girl, dog bones in your house that she's found? <laughs> every, every girl that, that I have seen since my, my last breakup, when I tell them this, they, they go the other way. They think it's disgusting. And this is someone I love and care about. Okay, well, you're welcome. Gary, I mean, I, I love her and, and I, I care well, about she's, her. Well, she knows now because obviously she's here. I know, she's watching I know. backstage. That's, that's why I wanted to come here and, and get it all out. You know, I'm tired of, of having this to myself. <laughs> Please, don't get it all out. <laughs> we'll be back. We're going to meet her. There's nothing wrong with me. Yes, there is. If you're going to let a woman drag you around by at least there's something wrong with you. You, my dear, are a pathetic piece of be a place for us on the animal channel huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay we've been talking here to Chris if you just joined us Chris has a strange sexual fetish he likes living the life of a dog and he behaves like a dog crawls around on all fours and goes for walks and barks and stuff like that uh, I mean I understand it's not an everyday thing I no, mean it's do. like once a week I have a regular job I'm a regular person I mean you know well, <laughs> but now okay just clear it up in my mind you may have said it and maybe I missed it when uh, 
this is you go to a dominatrix to do this. Yes, I go to her so house. So it's not I like you do it around your home. And no, so that's why you're not at all. I mean, this is when I when I when I'm in this mode, it's it's a total release. You know, it, it's I can live a total life. I don't have to live my life at this time. You know, and it's 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 just. And it's how long have you been going with your girlfriend? I've been going with her for six months. Six months, and you never told about it. So now she's backstage. She's watched this tape. I can only. Are you surprised that you've lost all your other girlfriends over this issue? Actually, yes, I am. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I don't think, Jerry, I don't think it, you know. If you saw your deal. mom or, or your dad, either one, it, you know, when you were a kid doing this, would you be a little concerned? Mom, mom, who, who? But I'm, a, I'm an adult. We're not talking about my mom or my dad. We're talking about me. You know, well, they were adults. This is, okay. But, you know, I don't, I don't see a problem with this. Okay. I don't see a problem well, with this Well, let's see if your girlfriend does. Here she is, Chrissy. <laughs> Hi, Chrissy. Uh, you saw backstage what's going on. You had no clue about this? You want to, what do you want to say to him? Oh, honey, come no. on. I mean, you know I love you. I, I love you. How could you do this? Is, this is just, I mean, this is a part of me. This is a part of me I haven't been able, I haven't been able to share it with you. And this is, I mean, I have to tell you, I can't go on, I can't go on hiding it. This is something that I love. I mean, I love you and I also love this. I love it. Do you love me? You know I love you. You know I love you. You could have told me this like six I, months ago. I, I couldn't. Six this is not you. Ago. This is not you. I didn't know how to tell you. I didn't. I love you. You know that. No, you don't. Yeah. How, uh, can you say, how can you say? Are you I intimate love you? with him? Have you been intimate with him? Yes. Is it? I I don't know how to ask you this, but does he ever bark? No. So he's nothing abnormal. About, I have I don't know what I've it. not known anything about this. Nothing kinky or whatever. He's just. No. You're an animal. You let some woman drag yeah. you around by a leash. By a leash. Your head was in a toilet bowl. You ate dog food. Dog food. Now, how is, is that normal? There's nothing wrong with me. Yes, there is. If you're going to let a woman drag you around by a leash, there's something wrong with you. It's all over with. Don't worry about that. What do you mean it's all over with? It's over. You can throw away what we have? Yes. You can just throw if it away. If you can bring me here in front of all these people and ch I just find out that you have someone beating you like a dog, you licked her feet and then you kissed me? other woman you said it's a sexual turn it is a sexual this. charge but i bring all my sexual energy home to her i'm not sleeping with this woman okay i mean i jerry i love her to uh, death i jerry when i came here oh you don't know come on when i came here i thought all right this is jerry springer <laughs> i thought but you weren't thinking he dogs. brought me on here to tell me he was cheating on me i would rather you told me you were cheating on me instead of bringing me here and i saw your face in a toilet bowl <laughs> we're going to meet the dominatrix we're going to meet the dominatrix when we come back we'll be right back.
goes down as one of the weird ones. Uh, Chris is otherwise seems like a totally normal guy, but he has this sexual fetish. Uh, he likes uh, once in a while going to a dominatrix and being a dog. And, uh, he, you know, he barks. He runs around the street on all fours. He, uh, he acts like a dog. Uh, his girlfriend of six months, Chrissy, just found out about it watching backstage. Understandably, she is doing what every other girlfriend you've had since you've had this fetish does, leaves you or says, you know, she's upset, humiliated. Uh, but anyway, when you do this, you don't do it with your girlfriend, obviously. You go to a dominatrix. Yes. Here is that dominatrix. Her name is Mistress Tara. <laughs> Get back. 
back here. You're just mad. Here's That's my... right. Sit down. Yeah, we'll be right back. Joined us, uh, the guy on his all fours is Chris. Chris, uh, puppy. Uh, Chris has puppy. a <laughs> Chris has a sexual boy. fetish. He loves to be a dog, which he just told his uh, his girlfriend uh, Chrissy about. Chrissy's obviously upset. Uh, he behaves like a dog when he's around his uh, this dominatrix, uh, Mistress Tara. It's my puppy. Uh, it's my little pet, right? It's my little pet. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, Mistress yes, Tara. Is there something you want to tell? What did you want to tell Chrissy? Uh, please, honey, I got more control over your man than you would ever have in a lifetime. Why don't you go find? Why don't you go in the audience and find yourself a treat? Go find yourself a treat. Chris, what are you doing? Let your curl over here and see you find it. Hold on. Uh, 
this fetish of his has already cost him what appears to be a very nice girlfriend. Oh, that seems to be out the window. What is also happening is that someone else who has watched this whole thing. Uh, who is, I don't know who he is, who is this guy, Larry? <laughs> All right, try and let him talk English. You can talk. Go ahead. Who's Larry? Larry is my business partner. And he, <laughs> and he didn't know about this either. Are you worried that right now you're in the dog mode? You're in a dog house. <laughs> no. All right, here's Larry. Suave. Hey, hefty bag, what's happening? <laughs> hey! Did you just say that to me? Let's get something straight, dog boy. Uh, you had a business partner. Yeah! Your ass is fired. You're done. You are done. How abnormal you are, are you? Fired. How the hell am I supposed to send you out? Bye. To, yeah, bye, moron. You know something? How, how am I supposed to send you out to go deal with any of our customers at all? You're supposed to represent my co our, our customers, our hour. business that we worked hard yeah. for. Guess what? You know the videotape of this show? I think it's all I'm going to need to get any judge in the world to say you're incompetent. You're done. Yeah. You have nothing to do with this. Okay, all right, oh, and you oh, should oh, back oh, the oh, hell off. Oh, oh, oh. Easy there, easy, easy. Let, let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing straight. It is my business because I'm sitting here watching. I am watching. It's not your business. No, and don't you raise your voice to me because I'll knock you on your ass. What is this? What is the problem? You don't knock me on my ass. You don't knock me on my ass. You know something? Jerry, I had a question. Uh, when you two, you know, get together and do it, do you do it all doggy style? Yeah. <laughs>
went through one day. I'll you seem it. like such a sweet, innocent girl. And then, all right. <laughs> I just want to say, I, I know when you look at them big breasts, it kind of make you bark a little bit. But you a real sick puppy. And you, you hey, need to go don't get your... Hey, until you try it, okay? You need to go and get your real man. I won't dog you, baby. Oh, that was real intelligent. That was really I, I have a question for Fido over there. Now, okay, I can understand you oh, getting you off on... Oh, who you calling Fido? You know, let me finish. Hey, go grow some teeth, honey. I, I would, I would. Oh. Getting off on weird ways, that's one thing, but you can honestly sit there and tell me that by drinking out of the toilet bowl, you get off? Milk bones grow strong, healthy Different teeth. strokes for different folks there, uh, Carol Brady. Hey, you know, if you like eating... Different strokes for different folks. Go for it. Hey, looks like you've been eating a little bit too much corn on the cob there, sweetheart. I want to know to the hooker how he going to pay She's not now. a hooker. She is not... How he going to pay? You need to sit down. She is not a hooker. You need to sit down. Your dog can come and lick my feet. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. She, no, she's got corn. She's got corn and onions. No, no. She's got corn and onions. Let me uh, take this opportunity to thank you all for being with us. Uh, you know, I hope your life is better than a dog's life. Uh, may things get better for you. I, I don't know what to say. You know, at first blush, this is sick. No, actually, it's still sick at the second blush. I suspect it's relatively harmless. I mean, he's not hurting anyone else, except perhaps the embarrassment it's causing his family, friends, and girlfriend. And so long as he's not pilfering milk bones and chew toys from the neighborhood pet shop, I imagine it's simply to each his own. But there are at least two things wrong here. The first is the danger that once addicted to this strange fetish, it'll be very hard or nearly impossible for him to have or enjoy sex in any more normal, traditional way. It certainly is going to be difficult finding partners. And the second issue, perhaps more fundamental, is his obvious need for attention, which suggests a serious void in his life. What flaw, what need is this outrageous behavior masking? There could very well be a pain here that can't remain suppressed forever. By burying a bone, he seems to be burying a much bigger problem. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.